Hey, it's Big Ryan, the Fat Guy. This Sunday, the NFL's International Series kicks off with the Jacksonville Jaguars hosting the Baltimore Ravens at Wembley Stadium in London, England. The Ravens opened as four-point favorites but have since moved down to three and a half points. According to Sports Insights, 68% of bettors are taking the Ravens and the points. Yet the reverse line movement for the Jaguars shows the sharp bettors and the smart money is on the Jags. Fat Guy, with the game being hosted in London, the Jags' second official home, do you think the Jags have any home field advantage at Wembley Stadium? Well, I mean, it's up for debate, but the Jags are conditioned for the trip. They've been doing it since 2013, whereas the Baltimore Ravens have never made the trip. Blake Bortles even has the ninth highest selling jersey in the UK, and Blake Bortles isn't exactly ninth highest on anybody's list as far as players are concerned. The Jags are even on a two-game London winning streak. The Ravens, who have opened the season 2-0, have had an impressive start defensively. How do you think Terrell Suggs and the Ravens' defense will match up against Leonard Fournette and the Jags' offense? This is a good matchup for the Raiders stylistically, but some of that is contingent on the status of Brandon Williams. Brandon Williams hasn't practiced this week, but Harbaugh did his best Belichick and only referred to it as not a long-term injury. Brandon, Brandon Williams is the premier run stopper in the NFL, garnering him a newly minted five-year, $54 million contract. Bottom line, Fournette is going to have a difficult time running the ball north and south. As far as shaky quarterback defense, the Ravens have managed a league-leading eight interceptions, and, and that's just over two games, against the likes of Andy Dalton, rookie Deshaun Kaiser, and fill-in Kevin Hogan. As far as Baltimore's D versus Jacksonville's O, advantage Baltimore. It can't be all bad for the Jags, though. How do you think the young, athletic Jacksonville defense will fare against Joe Flacco and the Ravens' offense? To misquote Charles Dickens, it should be a tale of two defenses. Jacksonville certainly has the edge in defense to the Ravens' offense. I mean, even more so with the potential backing of the London crowd. First off, the Jags were relatively healthy on the, on the defensive side of the ball, whereas the Ravens are hurt all over. All-pro guard Marshall Leanda is on injured reserve, and both semi-starting tight end Crockett Gilmore and capable Danny Woodhead are out. Uh, tight end Max Williams missed practice, as well as uh, running back Terrence West and gadget wide receiver and special team contributor Michael Campanero. The Ravens have had success so far running the ball, but are certainly up against the best front seven and defense as a whole yet. The Ravens have a pair of wily veterans in the receiving core, uh, with boomer bust Mike Wallace and steady Eddie Jeremy Macklin, but these two will fight an uphill battle against the youth and athleticism of Jalen Ramsey and free agent A.J. Bowie. As far as this battle is concerned, advantage Jacksonville. To put closure on the matchup debate, you have to bring up special teams, which is highlighted by maybe the best special teams player in the league, Baltimore Ravens place kicker Justin Tucker. Infamous for his strong, accurate, and clutch leg, Justin could also put on another sold-out performance at Wembley with his impressive vocals. Yes, Justin Tucker can sing opera, and he can sing with the best of them. Luciano Pavarotti, Maria Callas... Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Enough of that. I'm as weirded out as everyone else listening to this. Well, what do you think is going to happen in this game? To be honest, despite all the factors going Baltimore's way, I kind of like a, a sneaky Jacksonville uh, effort. I mean, they're, they're coming back off a really big letdown against Tennessee, and uh, I bet on them in, in week one, I bet on them in week two, and I'm going to follow that trend and bet on them in week three. Yeah, I think the injuries to Brandon Williams and Marshall Yanda are a lot bigger than most people realize. Those are two of the most dominant players of their positions in the leagues and very, very big difference makers. It hurts losing those guys, especially having to travel overseas to London to play this game and then not have two of your best players. It's going to be tough for Baltimore. It's Big Ryan the Fat Guy. Thanks for listening. As always, thank you for your support. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more Big Ryan the Fat Guy.